rotation slightly, right? Uh, yes, that's true. And that takes seconds to do and undo. So. Okay, now do the preview again of the motif board. So I'm going to click on the view menu and then show tool diameter. And do you see now how the left side looks more like the bottom parts of the A? Yes. That's all I want to show. Okay. So I can change anything I want whenever I want to however I like. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, good. Let's stop this. And oh, you know what? Let's just go right into measurement. If I need to measure any uh, the width of the B or the height of the B, just show me that tool quickly or the height of the M. If uh, the measure tool is is uh, this tool on the left hand side here, I'm going to single click. And then I'm going to use my measurement tool here. I'm going to single click on that. And what the what this um, the way this option works is I have to single click to establish the reference point for the start of the measurement, and then single click again to establish the second point. And this distance is being uh, displayed to you right here. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you can change that. I can take this line and I can move it over here and that would give you the desired or the, the distance as shown um, right here in this uh, window. Okay. Okay? That's that simple. Can you show me grid lines if I ever want them? Can you zoom out and show me how to use grid lines? If, if I go to the view menu and I turn on show grid, there's your grid. And the, gr the grid setup is, uh, is uh, established from the options menu and under rhinestone setup, click on general preferences. And the grid size is set right here. So that's the width and the height of the grid. Okay. Okay. Um, where did you pull up those dotted lines before? The blue dotted lines. You had horizontal and vertical ones. Oh, the guidelines? Thank you. So get rid of the grid. Okay. So let's go to the view menu and then show grid. Um, one way to get access to the, to the grid lines is uh, and uh, this is an option that I uh, use quite a bit is, say I want to uh, establish a, a guideline or a grid line um, for the selected object. What I can do is if I hold my uh, shift key down and I click on one of these control knobs with my right mouse button, it establishes a guideline through that point. Okay? Yeah. So you can, you can set up guidelines on screen. Okay, give, I'll give you an example of what I could use that would be practical, is uh, I need to find the center of this so that the, the top word, because let's say it's an uneven amount of letters in the bottom word, I need to find the center. Um, if, if I select the, this I object on screen, it. notice that there's nine control knobs that are, are showing that the object's selected. This middle knob here is actually the center of the, um, of the object that we've got selected. So if I hold my shift key down and right mouse button, it'll drop a guideline right through the center of that uh, that um, control knob or the center of the selected object. How do I get rid of individually one or not? Um, you can um, with everything de with uh, everything deselected on screen. If you notice, if I move my cursor over the guideline and click once, yeah. all right, it shows the highlighted guideline that I've clicked on. So in this case, if I just come over here and click on delete and then click OK, it's got rid of that uh, guideline. Oh, if I want to get rid of all the guidelines, uh, I just, again, move my cursor over. Notice that it changes the, the arrows pointing up and down. I'm going to click once right with my right mouse button, and then I can delete all horizontal guides. I'm going to switch over to vertical guides, and I can delete all of those and then click OK. OK, perfect. OK. Where was that again? Uh, so how you get access to that? So once again, I'm going to create the guidelines by uh, holding down the shift key and clicking on uh, a control knob with my right mouse button. If I want to delete the guidelines, I'm going to move my cursor over top of it, over the guideline, hold my right mouse button down, click once on my right mouse button, and then I can click on delete. If I want to delete this guideline, I can click on delete all and then click OK. Okay. 